Hello again, welcome to another look at the week's weather, courtesy of netweather.tv. Well, we've certainly seen a change in the weather the last few days, haven't we? The first really cold snap of the winter, I think, and uh, we've had a pretty lucky escape. If you've seen the news recently, you'll know, of course, just how cold it's been in parts of Europe. Temperatures are minus 25 to minus 30, the sea freezing and all sorts of things. And unfortunately, there have been some deaths as a result of the, uh, the cold too. The winds were just not quite right to bring such intense cold all the way towards us, but nevertheless the cold air has arrived, as we all know, but we're just about on the westernmost fringe of that bitter weather. If we have a look at the temperature of the atmosphere, the extreme cold, that's the mauve shading, is over eastern parts of Europe at the moment, especially Poland, parts of Russia. You'll also notice that to the west of us, milder Atlantic air lies, that's the, the greeny colour too. And as the cold flow is deflected in towards France and Spain and possibly into parts of North Africa, somewhat less cold air very gradually moves into the UK. In fact, that cold air, as I said, may just touch Africa and bring some unprecedented snow to parts of Morocco and Algeria. But eventually, as time goes on into next week, much of Western Europe will warm up. Well, perhaps warm is not the, the word for it, but get less cold. And certainly I think that will be pushing into Europe by the end of the week. Although it will stay unseasonably cold perhaps in parts of the eastern Mediterranean and that sort of area. Now if we have a look at the surface pressure pattern you can see that there's still an intense uh, area of high pressure over Russia. It uh, was originally over 1060 millibars, that's enough to give you a headache. Uh, and from that area of high pressure there's a ridge that stretches into the United Kingdom. And as a balancing act, as it often happens, there's an area of low pressure in the Mediterranean, which means that between the high pressure and the low pressure, we have a squeeze of easterly winds. And sometimes they come all the way from Siberia and we get bitterly cold. Now, I think very gradually the area of high pressure will slowly decline. That means to say the easterly flow will ease off a bit as well. And eventually, as the area of high pressure declines sufficiently, it'll allow westerly winds to establish themselves over the northernmost parts of the country and in the process it will allow weather front to push in and that's going to give us some problems on Saturday because there will be some rain around but that rain will increasingly turn to snow as it heads eastwards into the cold air. Once that's out of the way a new area of high pressure to the east pushes a ridge back into the UK so that again southern parts become rather cold and settled, the north less settled and milder. Now, I must make the point that this is recorded at the beginning of Thursday, early on Thursday, and of course we have a real problem developing for Saturday in that there will be some snow around which could well cause disruption. But of course it's a long way off, a long way off from now, and a lot can change. So bear that in mind, what I'm giving you is the best estimate that uh, is 24, 48 hours even ahead of the event. So on Friday it looks as if the day is going to start with hard frost just about everywhere. Temperatures probably as low as about minus 10. It will become cloudy in Northern Ireland and western parts of Scotland with a little bit of rain. And there will also be some snow showers on some eastern coasts of England. But otherwise much of the country will be dry and very cold with a good deal of sunshine. A nice crisp winter's day in other words. Then the problems start on Saturday because that, uh, that rain which will have reached Northern Ireland and Western Scotland will become much heavier and the area of rain will become more widespread. The wind will be picking up as well. And that rain preceded by snow will eventually creep across the whole country during the course of uh, Saturday and into Saturday night. Now, as I said just now, the amounts of snow are a real problem, but I think disruption should be short-lived in the West as here it will turn reasonably readily to rain. The biggest problem is East Anglia and the southeast parts of the East Midlands where the snow is not going to arrive until after dark and could well last a fair old time before it turns a little bit sleety and there could be 5 to 10 centimetres or so in places. Now behind that band of rain, clearer weather will later reach Scotland and Northern Ireland with just one or two showers. Now it's going to be a very cold day in much of the country and feeling quite raw as well as the wind picks up and the rain, sleet and snow comes along but western areas will become milder later on in the day. Now on Sunday the rain, sleet and snow will slowly clear away from that uh, southeastern corner to give some sunny intervals but there will be some more rain reaching western parts by lunchtime and the whole country later on. East Anglia and the southeast they may still stay on the cold and dull side with little bits and pieces of rain or sleetiness. 
Temperatures in the west back to normal, staying rather cold in the east. On Monday, a new area of rain will move on across into East Anglia in the southeast, and there'll be maybe a few bright intervals showing up across the country, but basically it looks like being a fairly cloudy day, and there'll be a little bit of rain here and there as well. Again, a similar mix of temperatures, close to normal in the west, still rather cold in the east. And then another band of uh, rain will move across the country during the course of Tuesday, and again, the same sort of thing with the temperatures, mostly in the normal, still a bit on the chilly side in the southeast. And then in the second part of the week, middle and latter part of the week, as that new area of high pressure establishes itself, we're going to have a two-way split. We're going to have the northwestern half of the country rather unsettled with normal temperatures and rain from time to time. Southeastern areas mostly dry, some cloud around as well, and rather on the cold side. Well, I hope uh, the forecast for Saturday turns out to be correct. I'll be back again this time next week. But for now, despite the weather and despite the cold, have a lovely weekend and goodbye for now.